Hey everyone. Hi everyone. Linda and I are going to check out a live nativity scene tonight and we hope that you come along with us. Yes, it should be a lot of fun. It should be. Join us. Of one day sending the Messiah to save us has all of us wondering when it will come to pass. Yes, Abigail, we must keep watch for his coming. God keeps his promises. He always has. Just think, God will send someone to bear his son. Yes, that is what the prophet wrote 400 years ago. A virgin shall conceive and bear a son. God can choose any of us. What a privilege it would be to bear the son of God. Oh, Mother will be waiting on us. Come, Anna, we must be getting home. Goodbye, Mary. See you tomorrow. Hail, thou art highly favored. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb, and bring forth a son, and shalt call his name Jesus. How shall this be? Seeing I don't have a husband. The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore, also that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. Be it unto me according to thy word. Lord, you chose me? Lord, help me to be the mother you want me to be for your son. How will I tell Joseph? According to the I will, Father, but I must finish this table before morning. I know your skills as a carpenter is far surpassed anything I could ever do. Your work is known all over Nazareth. I know it's hard to keep up with the orders, but son, it's getting late, and you need to come and come in and go to bed. Tomorrow is going to be a very difficult day for you, son. I'm so sorry about you and Mary with child. She seemed like the most wonderful girl a man could ever ask for. Yes, I know. But if our betrothal is to be broken, it will be done in private. And I will not make this public. All right, Joseph, that's your decision to make. But just don't stay out here all night. That's fine. which is conceived of her is of the Holy Ghost. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. Mary? Mary is the chosen one to bear God's son? This is wonderful, this changes everything. Yes, what do you want? Please, sir, do you have Anything? We have nothing available. Keep moving. Well, sir, it doesn't have to be anything special. We, we've got all over town. We've tried every place. Yours is the last choice. There's nothing left. I told you, we have nothing. <sighs> Judah, what is going on? We have nothing available. <sighs> Please forgive him. Tax season is so trying on all of us. We, we need lodging. My wife. She can't go any further. Oh, you poor child. What are you do? Any moment now. Oh, I am so sorry. We have nothing available at the end. But Judah, couldn't they stay in the stable? Can you think I treat people badly? This place is pretty rough. Anything is okay. Give me just a little bit of time and I'll have everything situated. Thank you. Praise God. God is good. And 
they were in the same country shepherds, abiding the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. Ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. And the shepherds came and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in a manger. And the shepherds glorified God for all the things that they had heard and seen as it was told unto them. Please set him down. My son, arise. Who is this man? How has he done this? Follow me. Some of you have asked the question, which is the greatest commandment? Well, I will tell you. This way, this the greatest way. commandment is, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, and with all thy strength. Please, please. And this second is likened, Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Okay, lower him down. Lower him down. What are they doing? What are they doing? What is going on? 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 That's the place of a nun. Please, please, please give him space. <laughs> great is the faith of your friend and great is your faith as well my friend thy sins they are forgiven no no this is blasphemy only God can forgive sins why do you always murmur and complain which is it easier to say thy sins be forgiven or take up thy bed and walk. What I'm about to show you all is that I have the power to forgive the sins of every man. My friend, do you want to walk again? Then take up thy bed and walk. Please, 
follow me. We have fine fabrics for sale. It's Jesus. It's fine it's Jesus. 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 You know we can't stone him for blasphemy. The people all believe he's a prophet. I say, let's let the Romans kill him. That's a great idea. I think I know how to get Pilate on our side. I've been talking with one of his disciples. He is so dissatisfied with this charlatan. Here he comes now. Caiaphas, everything has been arranged. If you ever wanted to arrest Jesus, now is the time. The crowds are gone, and he should be alone in the garden at Gethsemane. I'm impressed, Judas. Everything that you were supposed to do, you proceeded with. Here's your 30 pieces of silver if we agree. Let's go. Wait. I, 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 I don't... Hey, too late. It's done. Oh, what have I done? I can't take this back. I can't take this back. Oh, how people can change their minds in just a few days. From shouting Hosanna and celebrating Jesus and all that he has done to this. We find ourselves at the governor, Pilate's home. Here is where the religious rulers and the people of the city turn their backs on Jesus, sending him to Calvary. Where is he? Where's the flash? Where is he? Where's the flash? We found this man corrupting the nation. We found him guilty of blasphemy, making himself to be God. It's not Christ, King of the Jews. Blasphemy! Are you the King of the Jews? You say that I am. No! no. You have a religious tradition every Passover that we release one prisoner and set him free. So shall I release unto you the murderer named Barabbas? Or Jesus, which is called the Christ? We want Who do you choose? Barabbas! Shall I crucify your king? We have no Jesus. Well, then what do you want me to do with it? Crucify him! Crucify him! Crucify him! Crucify him! You are no Caesar. Anyone who makes himself to be king goes against Caesar. Crucify him! Crucify him! Crucify him! Guards, take him. Crucify him. But I'm innocent of the blood. Of this just person. The team I got on my folks. <laughs> Yeah. 
was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. <laughs> And most importantly, rise again on the third day. Come, see the place where the Lord lay. You see, Jesus is alive because he rose triumphantly on the third day. He died for our sins. He was buried and he conquered death and offers every person here an eternal home in heaven. Jesus is God's free gift to the world, but one that must be received by faith. Salvation can be yours forever if you will accept the gift of Jesus. Jesus. 